Hey guys, this is Unips of Fans Naz here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the 2023 NASCAR schedule that was just released today, along with the Xfinity Series and Truck Series schedule. So yeah, so this time I'm actually showing it here on the NASCAR app right here. So yeah, so, I mean, you can just see here the Cup Series schedule we're going to start off with, and we're going to move on to Xfinity and Truck. So yeah, so let's get started here. So you can tell right here, starting off, it, it's the LA Clash starting it off for you know, for next year before the Daytona 500. Then the duels will come afterwards, and then the Daytona 500. Then is the West Coast Swing, a uh, West Coast Swing of Auto Club Las Vegas and Phoenix. Uh, however, I have heard that possibly next year will likely be the last race of Auto Club's original configuration because the Afterward, after that race, they're gonna change it to a short track. So yeah, so I mean, just so likely the last uh, race on the old configuration for Auto Club. So yeah, and then uh, after Phoenix it is Atlanta, then Coda, which yeah, of course that's one of my nearest tracks. So hopefully I'll be able to go to Coda next year again. And then there's Richmond, and then Bristol Dirt returning. Um, I haven't checked if that if Bristol Dirt is, is around Easter, but I'll have to check later. So yeah, and then moving on is then Martinsville and then Talladega. Then then the, um, we have Dover, Kansas, Darlington, and as was heard already heard once, North Wilkesboro will be hosting the All Star Race for next year. And honestly, I'm looking forward to this right here. Because I've never seen a race at North Wilkesboro, and I'll finally get the chance to see one on TV. And then we'll be Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600. And then Gateway will be back again. Then Sonoma, Nashville. And then Chicago Street Course will also be coming as well, as was already confirmed back in July, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's, it's going to be on July 4th weekend, replacing Road America. And then Atlanta, but one change to Atlanta, though, is that apparently uh, what I've heard on Twitter is that the second Atlanta race will be a night race, which, honestly, I find that uh, to be a good move right there, since it's always hot in Atlanta in the summertime. So, yeah, so I just so find that a good move there right there for Atlanta. And then there's New Hampshire, Pocono, Richmond, Mi uh, Michigan. And then Indy, it looks like, I think Indy probably has been moved back a little bit, I think. And then there's Watkins Glen and Daytona to finish the regular season. And as for the playoffs here, they remain the same here as from this year. There hasn't been really a lot of changes to next year's, and next year's schedule compared to this year. But one other change you can tell right here is that Texas has only one cup race. Which I kind of find that a little surprising since they had a deal for two races a year until the contract was up. But I'm guessing they decided just to go to one race. I mean, there have been rumors that it's likely going to get a configuration. So maybe this is why, but who knows. And of course, Phoenix will be hosting the championship race again. Yeah, you can just tell here, basically most of the stuff just remains the same for the Cup Series. Then moving on to Xfinity, you can just tell here not really much change to Portland uh, for uh, for Xfinity will be back, and also Chicago Street Course will also be for Xfinity too, so that's good. And Road America will remain on the schedule for the Xfinity Series, even though the Cup Series has left. And you can also tell here Bristol's have actually been moved to the playoffs for the Xfinity Series, and yeah, I mean just. Yeah, you can just uh, you can just see here all the. I mean, there's been a few changes here for Xfinity series, but not a whole lot. But yeah, I mean, just but yeah, I mean that's the Xfinity series schedule right there, and then finally the Truck series, which has now been the Craftsman Truck series for next year. There has been a few changes here for this one here. I mean, they're actually be going to North North Wilkes Pro two. Bristol Dirt will also be back for a truck. And you can all, and you can also tell right here behind, uh, right under Lucas Oil, you can also tell there's actually an old track back, which is actually Milwaukee. Yeah, Milwaukee is apparently back. I mean, I never knew about this track until now, so it's really nice to see Milwaukee come back to the Truck Series or NASCAR, depending on what series raced there before. So yeah, 
So let me just split. I mean, yeah, there's there's a few changes here to the truck series schedule here. But yeah, I mean, uh, but one change is that uh, apparently Sonoma and Knoxville are apparently off the schedule here, which not really sure why for Sonoma. I mean, maybe it's for maybe Milwaukee or North Wilkesboro. But yeah, I mean, just but yeah, and not to mention also the Truck Series and Xfinity Series also have only one Texas race along with the Cup Series. But I think they, yeah, but you, you can tell right here. The Texas truck race is, is in April compared to the Xfinity and Cup Texas race. It will be in September. Uh, September. So, yeah. And not to mention also Xfinity only has one Talladega race. But, yeah, I mean, just once again, no, all three series will be, all three series championships will be at Phoenix. So, yeah, so I mean, just, but, but, yeah, I mean, just that's. That, that right there is the schedule for next year for Truck, Xfinity, and Cup. So, yeah, definitely I would think these schedules turn out good. I mean, there may not have been a whole lot of changes. But, overall, I mean, it looks pretty good right here. So, looking forward to it next year. So, yeah, so, I mean, just that's what I have to say here. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.